If you're planning a home improvement project this summer, you should also plan on doing your research. Just this week, a local scammer was sentenced to 20 years in prison for cashing in on a contract he never completed. KCAU 9's Rebecca Pryor tells us what experts say you can do to avoid being scammed yourself. Rebecca? That's right, Bridget. Charles Barker of Sioux City was convicted yesterday on two counts of second-degree theft, scamming residents out of over $10,000. I spoke to one of the victims who says he learned a very expensive lesson, one that he believes could have been avoided. Home repair. It's easy to get ripped off. I just trust on people and you can't today. Most people don't have a lot of experience pricing home improvements or dealing with crafty contractors. I didn't necessarily do my homework and it was a handshake thing you know I've, I've grown up to you know handshake you know man of my word ben clark was scammed out of almost seven thousand dollars buying supplies for a new garage that the contractor never came back to build uh, just constant lies you know back and forth uh, not showing up saying he'd be here and not show up and then started seeing the red flags but experts say there are ways to catch the red flags ahead of time our advice to people is before you put any money down make sure you have a contract in place sergeant mcclure is no stranger to contractor scams we frequently get a lot of reports on these kinds of issues and some of the frequent ones we see are the the roofing ones or pavement work that kind of stuff mcclure says to watch out for a contractor that asks for a large sum of money in advance or in all cash you should also never do work with a contractor that isn't licensed or can't provide you with any references we've done more searching on you know online um you know now after the fact going online you can you can see all the previous you know places that you know, people that had stuff against him, and, and there's just a lot of stuff online that will tell you. They'll have a history with people. If they're reputable and they do good work, there will be people that will come forward and say good things about them. But if they're not reputable, there will be just as many people that will come forward and let you know what's going on with them. So just do some research and, and try to protect yourself as best you can. If you believe someone may have approached you with a scam or has already scammed you, call the police department immediately at 712-279-6960. Rebecca Pryor, KCAU 9 News.